In this video, I'm going to demo the UC Edge client for the iPhone and Android smartphones. I'll show you how you can turn your mobile phone into an all-in-one communications hub. This will allow you to simply collaborate with your colleagues and clients from anywhere. Toshiba's UC Edge allows you to work smarter, faster, and more efficiently from anywhere. Let's get started. There are a couple steps you need to do before we get started. First, download the UC Edge app from either Apple's iTunes Store or Google Play Store. Your administrator will provide you a username, a password, and a host domain name. Once connected to the IP Edge server, then simply just follow the settings wizards to complete the installation. Let's get familiar how this UC Edge app works. At the top of the screen, the left hand arrow button is your back button. Next to the back button is your home button. And then the avatar is your profile. If I click on the profile, it'll go to my profile and I can make changes to my profile, like my settings of my telephone number and location. Let's go ahead and change your location address and we're gonna select home. Now I have set the home location, I'll save it and it will update my presence status to all other users can see that I am now at home. If I click the home avatar next to the uh, profile, it allows me to quickly change my presence status without having to edit my profile. So let's go ahead and now change it to a business trip. Click save. Next to your avatar is the network status. This will always give you the latest updates of what, what, how you connected to the UC Edge app. Also, this is also where you can allows you to quickly, easily change your phone mode between soft phone, MPBX mode, or no phone mode. Next to the network status icon is the search icon. This is, allows you to quickly find other UC Edge users on the system. Next to the search is the navigation drawer. Navigation drawer gives you quick access to the UC Edge settings and other items. At the bottom of the UC Edge application are your applications. Applications are dialer, instant messaging, contacts, clear, and more applications. Under the more applications, you have access to voicemail, call history, more buttons, and voicemail greeting management. Here comes an inbound call to the UC Edge application. I'm gonna go ahead and answer this call by hitting the green handset. Once I have answered the call, I will be presented with several options what I can do with this call. I can transfer the call. I can put it on a speakerphone. It does have Bluetooth capability. I can put the call on hold. I can initiate a conference call. I have the dial pad and I can hang up. Okay, I'm gonna produce another inbound call. Let's go over the options we have. I'm gonna do an IM reject. So go ahead and click on the icon in an inbound call and it's gonna go right to instant messaging. I'm going to do a predefined instant message. I'm going to say, I'm in the meeting. I'll call you back later. And this will send this message to the party who is calling me. Another option you have on an inbound call is called call reject. That's simply by just hitting the red hang up to reject the call. And the call will go straight to your personal voicemail. The second divert option you have is called call divert. That is the blue icon with the arrow next to it. You can have a predefined number, in my case here, maybe to a cell phone number, and I can click just divert, and it will simply divert that call to that number that's predefined. Now you can override that number and put any other number in there you'd like. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to transfer an inbound call using the UC Edge application. So here comes the inbound call, I'm gonna answer, and then I'm gonna hit the little blue icon with the plus next to it, which is gonna take me over to the subscribe contacts page. I'm going to click on the dial pad and I'm going to dial the party's user I want to transfer the call to. And I have my various options. I'm going to leave this default, so go ahead and click OK. And I can just present me with two options. One is called a uh, conference transfer feature, which is a supervised transfer. So it's going to allow me to announce the call to the party that I'm transferring it to. Or I could do an unscreen transfer, which is a direct blind transfer to that party. Now let's do an outbound call using the UC Edge application. 
I'm going to click on the dial pad and then you simply enter in a telephone number. Once I have entered my number, I'm going to click call. And it's giving me some options. I'm going to leave this on soft phone and I'm going to select my line, which is the, my primary DN. Click OK. And this will start calling the outside party. And it's going to give me the various options that I saw earlier that I talked about on an inbound call. This also supports uh, protect mobile number privacy feature. What that means is when I place this outbound call to the outside party, they are seeing my business caller ID and not my cell phone. UC Edge, wherever your work takes you. Find out more on our website at telecom.toshiba.com or download the UC Edge app.